All right, welcome to part six of the uh, sci-fi case project. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over a little bit shorter tutorial on just a couple modifications of this piece here, which you can see, uh, not much detail. But essentially what I've done is I've added an edge here. I kind of want to go over a different way of doing it. Instead of extruding the entire piece of geometry, just extruding an, an edge and pulling it out since this is going to be mirrored over. Um, and eventually, uh, this is like a little sneak peek for the next drill, we'll do some Boolean action here. You can see I have kind of a setup here, uh, which will be kind of exciting and fun to, to see, to create some interesting shapes out of this. But uh, to start off, we got to finish up this piece here that we're working on before. You can see here, this piece is pretty much done on this one. But on this one, there's, there's a little bit of issue here. If I hit number three, you can see that, uh, especially when I isolate the selection here, there's some issues here and it's because I didn't uh, add some edge loops here that I needed to and so I just want to make sure that I do that. The other thing I was looking at was, uh, let's see, there's a little tweak here at the end of this corner and these little parts that come out a little funky when you do extrusions, you can just grab the vert and kind of move it into position and kind of, you know, basically even it out. That's essentially what I've done, just moving it in the um, the Y and X axis and not the Z. So uh, trying to do that would help out that little corner there. But I need to add some edge loops here. So let me add an edge loop right here. And that will kind of prevent that edge from kind of like getting too rubbery. As you can see here when I hit number three, how soft the bottom is. So I need to add an edge loop right down here. And then this front piece here, uh, if I hit number three, is get kind of rubbery. So I want to add an edge loop right here and right here. This I can have a little farther apart, does not be super tight. But this corner here, if I hit number three, you can still see it pops out quite a bit. So I need an edge loop right here and here to kind of hold that corner. So now when I hit number uh, three here, you'll see, uh, sorry about that, I hit the window symbol again. Uh, you'll see that now it holds that corner really nicely. And now we got a nice smooth edge all the way through. So um, that pretty much finishes off that model at that point. You can see I cleaned up the geometry underneath. Uh, this next part, by doing it this way, we won't have to clean up the geometry so much. So I'm gonna uh, show what I did with this piece here next. The first thing I did was I added an extra edge loop, two extra edge loops here. I was thinking it'd be kind of nice to have like a maybe a control panel that comes out, or it could be some sort of edge detail here. So I use the offset edge loop tool here to basically click and drag across and create two corresponding edge loops on here and then click out with the arrow tool. Go to face mode, select this face and hold the shift key and select this face and extrude that out. I just hit control E to do that. And so basically I'm pulling out some geometry here uh, to get a little bit of thickness there. Again, going to face mode, I can delete these two faces. Don't need those since this will be mirrored across. And pretty much we have it now. The problem is if we look at this object on its own, go back to object mode and isolate it, is that uh, there's no thickness to the edge here. We need an edge here in order to encapsulate the, this uh, frame here. Otherwise, there'll be a huge gap here. So what we can do instead of extruding the entire object, we can extrude edges. So we can basically click here and hold the shift key, double click here, which will select that entire edge loop and then hit control E to extrude and I can grab the blue arrow and kind of pull down and you'll see it's kind of wacky there's not there's a lot of misalignment so we have to do a little bit of cleanup first off I just wanted to get the proper thickness something like that and then I'll show you how to uh, clean up pretty easily just by going to vertex mode now this guy I can select it hit W and I think I can just eyeball just like bring it out a little bit further and bring that up and that lines up pretty close to what that is. It doesn't have to be exact, exact. Um, the thickness along here is fine. And then where it's problematic is here, you can see the face is kind of bending inwards. So I'm gonna do two different directions. First, I'm gonna move it in the X direction and hold the V key and snap to this vert. Then I'm gonna move in the Z direction and hold V and snap to this vert. And that basically pulls it out and lines it up with the other ones. So I kind of just repeat that action, move one direction, doesn't matter which one I start with, snap to that vert and then bring it out and snap to that vert. Again, holding middle mouse button while I'm clicking on that vert will do it. So you always gotta make sure you have the, 
and the vert selected and then move it into position a little bit and then hold V middle mouse click and it will snap to that position move it hold V middle mouse click will snap it uh, this one here this corner basically just kind of pull it in and bring down like so and that looks uh, pretty good maybe this corner bring up a smidge but now I got a nice sort of line there and so adding an edge loop in there for support would be real easy you know one there if I wanted to I could even have one there and so when I hit three for smoothing that whole edge panel will be added really well now I'd probably want to add some supporting loops on this guy but I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this guy so I could select um, these two edges hit W and kind of pull them out a little bit and then just select uh, this one and maybe just kind of pull back a little bit to get kind of an angle of some sort um, e even with this one I could delete this whole edge loop here's another trick that you can do is you can double click on that edge loop and again you can hit control backspace which will delete it but now we got a nice tight corner and then if I want to add an edge loop in there again I can do that afterwards so sometimes I'll do that so now if I go to the multi-cut tool I can hold control and shift and it will snap to degrees there's 50% click and essentially I have the same edge loop but it now it's got a nice clean angle there so uh, that works out pretty well and again I would add supporting edge loops I'm still figuring out what to do with that but I kind of wanted to end here just a little bit shorter tutorial again next tutorial a uh, little spoiler we're going to do some fun booleans man so until next time see you soon cheers